Hello and welcome to part three. Uh, so part three is the cavalry. So in this video, I'm going to see how long it takes me to do the cavalry. Uh, and as usual, I will be doing prep, undercoat, colors in a wash, highlight, and basing. Uh, and in this prep, I've got to do some conversions. So I'm going to add them into the time as well, because I need a few extra horses uh, and a few extra guys, but obviously that's going to take long. But yeah, so let me get these all prepped. Everything prepped. 29 minutes. Not too bad, because uh, she had to do a little cu couple of little bits of conversion. So gave him a kepi. He's a free guy. Chopped his arm off and put a different arm on. Again, not a free guy, the guy you get on the infantry sprue. I'll just give him a different head, just to make him slightly different. And this one I chopped the body off a Calistra standing command guy. Legs down here somewhere. And just glued his torso onto the horse and then trimmed that off. Left that bit rough, because obviously that's going to be your main, so it's the matter if it looks too rough. Anyway, that's it. So now the undercoating. Uh, oh, I should say, I included time for finding all these bases. I already have blue tack on them. So getting the bases together, putting everything on bases, snip everything out. I put these on individual bases, these four guys, because they're going to go on the horse holder stand. And I just wanted to make sure I knew who was who. So anyway, Onto the undercoat. Okay, all undercoated. Um, I've gone for a bit of a two-tone undercoat with these. So I painted the riders and the blankets and everything cantal blue, so I don't have to paint them again. Uh, and the horses are painted grey because I've noticed when I put like a brown or a, a fawn or some sort of a colour over the top, uh, the blue tends to show through a little bit, so this way, it won't, when I put the top coat on there, it won't show through and I hopefully won't have to do anything else to the horses themselves. Um, right, so this took me 35 minutes. So, cut them off sprues, sort them all out, put them on base ready to paint, undercoating one hour and four minutes so far. Now, the next bit... I know or I feel it's going to take me forever <laughs> so we'll see won't we uh yeah base coats and a wash okay everything is now base coated uh, and had a wash this little calistra guy that I did the conversion of so he looks quite nice so far see what it looks like when I finished him uh yeah so this took a while um four hours and 31 minutes to get all these done but as I think I mentioned before, they will take longer because all the infantry, all the cavalry, everything's individual. You can't paint it, you know, on the, it's not part of a strip. So everything's got to be painted individually. Four hours, 31 minutes. So total so far um, is five hours, 35 minutes. So next up, I need to do all the highlighting. Uh, now, as far as the horses go, all I've got to do is put socks on. I'm not going to do anything else to them. So they're pretty much finished. So I'm thinking the highlighting will be quite a bit quicker. He says, in theory. Um, but anyway, we shall see. So yeah, highlighting. Everything highlighted. Uh, you will notice I've glued them to bases already. But uh, the time for gluing to bases will not be included. I did stop the timer, but I forgot to film this bit so the time it took me to highlight all of these was two hours and 47 minutes uh, there's lots of little bits that slow you right down like doing the yellow was a real pain really slow me down to a crawl uh, and as always i've included um cutting out and gluing on the flags as well these are the 22nd New York Cavalry. Um, so yeah, two hours, 47 minutes. So grand total so far 
Eight hours and 22 minutes. These are not flying by. Um, maybe part of it's my aversion to actually paint and cover it, I don't know. But yes, they're taking quite a long time. So uh, if you're basing them differently to me, obviously the basing will, will vary for you guys. But uh, yeah, so far it took me from cutting them out off the sprues, doing all the little bits of conversion work that I've done, painting them all up and highlighting them, eight hours, 22 minutes. So let's see how long it takes to base them. And everything based. Um, yeah, the basing took me quite a while as well, to be fair. Uh, but I thought I'd see as I spent that long painting them. Uh, I didn't mind putting that little bit of extra time into the bases. So the basing took me two hours and two minutes. Um, so yeah, quite a while. So the grand total to paint the cavalry was... Uh, what were we? 822 plus 2002. So 10 hours and 24 minutes to paint the cavalry. Uh, the basing, as always, included cutting the base off the sprue and gluing them together. Uh, and then gathering all the bits and pieces, flocks, static flock, flowers, clump foliage, etc. So now I have two regiments of cavalry completed. So they did take me some time, but the good news is, of course, with the American Civil War, is you don't need too much cavalry. Um, but whether I need any more or not is another matter. I'm thinking one more regiment might work for the way I've got the armed plan, because I'm going to have three divisions. So it'd be nice to have a cavalry unit in each division, but I'll decide nearer the time. It will pretty much depend on whether Warlord do another spree sale uh, and whether these are in it. And if they are, then I'll probably get, I'll have to do another cavalry regiment for both the Confederates and the Union. And last stand, oh, well, horses stand, horse holders stand as well. So, yes, 10 hour, ten and a half hours in effect. <clears throat> uh, and the reason it takes so long is just because they're all individuals. You have to paint everything, everybody on their own. So it takes time. Uh, but I've got a few spare bits and pieces, but that'll be another video where I'll show what I've done with everything. Uh, so that is the conclusion, this three part little mini series. Uh, and what I will do is I will do the same for the Napoleonics when I get back to painting them and the same for the Pike and Shot when I get back to painting them because they will take longer and the Confederates take a lot longer as well. You could probably add at least another hour onto all of the ones that I've done uh, and that will give you uh, how long it will take to paint the Confederates. I haven't done a flyby in a while, so I thought I'd quickly do one. All done. And the good news is, you don't have to do thousands of them. So, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed these little videos. As I say, I will be doing more for the Napoleonics and Pike and Shot and stuff. Uh, but I've got to finish this Union Army off first. So thank you very much for watching. I'll put some stills on and I'll catch you in the next one.